All right, so this is Zach Delker. Zach, a good teammate. Oh, we already watched this show. Uh, this little celebration. So, I think I noticed that you slip. Um. One thing I think you could do, put that heel, that left heel down just a little bit. I, I like the heel up, but it's like super high. And what I want it to be is like, so your weight, that's the center there. And I want this right leg to come wide, maybe a little wider than where it is. Um, I was limited on the screen here, <laughs> but you can actually see here that left knee sort of caves in a little bit, caves out and opens up and rotates and even there you're still on that left. So I prefer here that the, that left knee stays where it's at and that right side rotates around the left knee, but let's go back to the start here. Before you start this position, see how you like when you pick up that foot, it just picks up. You're not actually actively pushing it around. So, what I want to see is that push around loads more weight on that left side, and there's a little more put that heel down, there's a little more uh, awareness of what your left side's doing and then the left knee here stalls out and controls and just stays in that position don't let it move and the right side rotates around it you get that little I think you do slip I know but that's going to help you on seating out of the back and then so as that right sweeps get off the left sooner get off the left like you should you should be off the left right about here so there's going to be a slight bit of of air time just a little bit and then that left will have time to get around okay so like right here the right should be grounded sweep down sweep down sweep down there I want the right hip about here. Oh, maybe more like this. That's where I want, where that arrow is, is where I want your right side, okay? And I don't like how your left arm is. I'd rather that up just a little bit and maybe, maybe facing back towards the, um, if the back of the circle is 12, maybe back towards like two o'clock. So back this way a little more. I, I don't really like how that that is. And I, so if that's elevated a little more, that's going to fix your posture a bit so that you don't jump off that left here in the finish. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to walk through this again. So lower that left heel, push from that right side to get weight loaded over the left. Sweep the right leg lower just a little bit lower and grounded it should be grounded right about here get off that left leg sooner so when that right passes that left leg should be getting past your right leg okay so if you get off that left leg sooner you're definitely going to achieve that because right now that's that's your right foot touchdown and your left leg is almost in line with your right foot but what the goal is is that when that right foot touches down that left leg is already going to double support Okay, and then that rotates to the finish, but then here, drop your right knee, drop your right knee. If you want, go back and look at my Instagram videos or pictures of the bent knee finish. Sign up for my online lecture series with your buddy. You guys can split the costs and you can learn a whole bunch more about throwing in that finish. Don't jump here. Sit into that left heel right knee down into that left heel through a big finish but dude you're moving well um plus i like your intensity
get some get some reps in with some heavier weighted implements and you could you could toss that face. Fired up. That's called the fired up face. But yeah, dude, I like this throw. Um, I like the movement. I think you can throw a bar.